the silver mark of freedom His spirit was born Thara, they named him Thara Like the wind, like the wind that is free Thara, they named him Thara To be king of the bush, his destiny And ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, yes, the king. A year or so has passed since we last saw the Silver Brumby. Thara, son of the mighty Yaraman, and heir to his kingdom in the high country. Thara, born on the wind and named for it, grows daily in strength and wisdom. The sleekest, most handsome and swiftest Brumby in all of the Cascades. Thara is beloved by all the creatures that live in the Alpine region. His herd has grown. His reputation spread. But still he has one enemy, the Brolga, the fiercest of Brumbies, the one who is now king. Yet Thara's constant companion is the Brolga's daughter, Boon Boon. Come on, Boon Boon. I'll race you to the ram's head and back. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Another day, another lot of food to be found for our hungry family. <laughs> mm, uh, let's see now. What have we got here? <laughs> hey? Huh? What? Whoops! <coughs> oh, sorry, Wombat! Baffled brain, Brumbies. This is a last straw. <laughs> Puffed out, hey? Do you give up? Can you hear something? Only the breeze in the trees. No, listen. It's more than that. Did you hear that? Nothing. Still the breeze. I hear a message. Perhaps it's only for me, Boon Boon. I must follow it. Of course. <laughs> Greetings, noble father. My son, my fine son, how good it is to see you. I've watched you grow, Thara, into the fine young Brumby you are now. And proud I am, Thara. Thank you, father. Thara's done it. Finally lost his marbles. If you are to be king, which is your destiny, you must continue to learn from all about you. 
and keep and build on the many friendships you already have. For soon, you will have to face the Brolga and take from him the title he took from me. I know that, Father, but the Brolga is too big and strong for me to fight. There is much that I must do before that day arrives. Strength alone does not make a king. Thinks he's so great and he talks to himself. Oh, I spy with my little eyes something beginning with S. Let me think. S. Oh, that's a hard one. I know, I know. Stupid, stupid, stupid Thara. Oh, I can't wait to tell my master. Ah! <laughs> Pea brain possum not worth a pinch of peanuts. You will find a way to defeat the Brolga and protect yourself and your friends from the dangers of man. Only then will you be able to claim your rightful inheritance as king of the Cascade Brumbies. Don't go, Father. Don't go. There is so much I have to ask you. You must find out for yourself. Goodbye, Father. Thank you. Talking to himself, was he? Yeah. <laughs> and looking at himself in the pool. <laughs> You're a beautiful horse, Thara, that sort of thing. You're so strong you could beat the all-powerful Brolga. Talking to himself. <laughs> yes, oh yes, your eloquent magnificence. <laughs> what a lot of nonsense you talk, Karawong. You're not a very good spy. All you do is make up things. But, but it's true, your ecumenical worshipfulness. Bah, again. Thaura may be many things, but he's no fool. And he's a dangerous and clever enemy. Forget that at your peril, spy. Yes, your omnipotent potentateness. Mopok! Mopok! Oh. Hello, Mopok. You're quite alert. Your action's curt. What troubles you, my dearest friend? Tell me quick. Advice I'll lend. It's been a strange morning. First the bush calling me, then a strange conversation by the deep rock pool. And now I have the oddest feeling that something is following me. Go find Boon Boon. Run and play. Perhaps these thoughts will go away. <laughs> Can't think of anything better to do, Mopoke. See you soon. Boon Boon, here you are. Thaura! I was wondering what had become of you. We'd better finish our race to the ram's head. I need to clear my head. <laughs> It was good fun. I feel much better. <laughs> I almost beat you. Almost. I have the feeling I'm being followed. I'm sure of it. Just your imagination, Thara. The blood must have gone to your head. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll race you back down. Benny, good to see you. Thara, Boon Boon, how goes it? I wouldn't talk to him if I were you, Benny. I think he's haunted. <laughs> well, many humans do think he's a ghost horse. Do you think that's what could be following him? A ghost? Could be. Maybe that's why Thara has a reputation of being a ghost horse. <laughs> all right, you two. Stop having a go at me. And you, Benny. I didn't think you of all kangaroos would believe in ghosts. Oh, I don't really, Thara. It's just good to have a chance to pull your leg once in a while. <laughs> Out of the way! Out of the way! Wombat coming through! 
That's all right. That'll be right. Typical. Wherever you go, there are brumbies in the way. Where are we off to now, Wombat? Moving house. Away from this noisy road builders and interfering horses. Now clear off. This is my heath too, you know. But you can't go. Think of all the good times we've had together in the high country. Yeah, name one. Well, um, let's see. No. You can't, see? Nothing but troubles and woes and creatures wanting favours. No time to eat, no time to sleep, no time to nothing. Just natter, natter, build, build, build. Big yellow monsters ripping up everything. <coughs> emus, emus, emus everywhere, poking their noses into everything. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and stupid kookaburras, too, laughing at nothing. Brumbies trampling everything, and the final insult, a possum on me head. I did say I was sorry, Wombat, but Boom Boom's right. You can't go. This is your home. What would the high country be without you? Not leaving the high country, just this neighbourhood. It's not the place, it's the neighbours. You think it'll be any different anywhere else, Wombat? Don't know. Don't care. Might come back, might not. Now, out of my way. Too much chatter. Righto, family. Get a move on. Out of the way. Out of the way. Aren't you even going to say goodbye, Wombat? No. I'll miss Wombat. He'll be back. It didn't sound like it. He does this every couple of years. Always turns up again unannounced as if he had never been away. <laughs> Uh-oh! Is that who I think it is? Oh, just ignore it. Maybe you'll go away. <laughs> Hard of hearing. <clears throat> Hello. My name's Arrow. Perhaps you've heard of me. He's very impressive. Mm, oh, very impressive. Do you think the fillies are impressed? Mm. Hard to say. They're not looking at him. Mm, maybe they're so impressed. That's why they're not looking at him. What? You mean they hold him in such awe and admiration? Mm, yep. Too magnificent to behold. I think you're right, Mew. That must be it. Hmm. Must be the day for stupid Brumbies. Silly Arrow should know better than to talk to my master's daughters. <laughs> well, he'll be sorry soon. <laughs> but first, I might have a little fun. <laughs> so, what do you say? Interested in joining my herd? <laughs> Cheek. I've had lots of interest, if you must know. They're just waiting for the right moment, that's all. To leave their herds. I just wanted to give you a chance. You're really dumb, Arrow. You'll be in for it when I tell the Brolga who you've been talking to. I'm not frightened of the Brolga. Anyway, I wasn't doing anything, just talking. That's enough. <laughs> well, how do you like that? Hey? Eh? Oh, now where did they get to? Oh, Holy Highness! It's Arrow, up to no good as usual, sire. Arrow? Is that dimwit still around? What's he up to now? Well, it's a somewhat delicate matter of your daughters, oh stupendous stud. Daughters? What? What's that? What's he been up to? Seems he has delusions of starting a herd of his own. Been chatting them up, so to speak. <laughs> Follow me, mighty Brolga. We'll show him what for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Wobbog. Wobbog. I... Arrow, Arrow, looking sad. What could be making you feel so bad? Oh, good day, Mopoke. Life's so unfair. I want to become a leader with a herd that I can call my own. Ooh, ooh. If you wish a herd of your own, the Brolga's not likely to give you a loan. Oh, the Brolga. That's all you hear around here. And Thaurer, of course. The Brolga's just a greedy old tyrant. And Thaurer's such a goody horseshoes, he makes me sick. Both Brolga and Thara were born to rule. If you can't see that, you're a bit of a fool. Oh, born to rule, hey? But which one? Haven't you noticed how Thaur is too scared to fight the Brolga? If the Brolga was here right now, I'd give him such a thrashing, I'd show him who was born to rule! I'm sorry, Boon Boon. I know you think I'm imagining it, but, but there's something in the snow gums. I've got to go and see. Go on, then. Terrible tyrant. Thaura! Help! Help! Oh no, not again. This way! Follow me! <laughs> Don't you just love this? <laughs> Go, bro! <laughs> Sight to spy. The Bronca's wearing a snake for a tie. Enjoying a bit of a snooze in the sunshine, are we? That's nice. But I am surprised, I must admit. I thought you were after Thaura and Arrow. I just saw them emerge, believe it or not, from behind a waterfall not too far from here. Well, what's wrong, your sumptuous superbness? Aren't you gonna go get them? I just wish, Karawang, that I had the strength to get up and thrash you. But fortunately, I don't have to. Eh? Eh? What do you mean? Whatever are you talking about, oh great one? <laughs> I 
was just going to head for that hidden cave when you came along, Thara. I knew about it all the time, really. Thara? Thara? Oh, well, how do you like that? But wait for me! Mopok, Mopok. Arrow, arrow, always so loud. Don't you know two's company, three's a crowd? Oh, is that so? Well, your advice I can do without, Mopoke. Thanks very much. Perhaps, but the Brolga's still on the prowl, and you shake and shudder at his very growl. The Brolga? <laughs> I can assure you, Mopoke, there's not a single creature in the high country that scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Scared to death of a little old snake? When it comes to courage, you're a well-known fake. <laughs> I don't know what brought all that on between Arrow and the Brolga, but I just wish he would learn something. I'm getting very tired of having to save him every time. Did he thank you? I don't need the thanks, Boon Boon, but, but one day I just won't be around. Hey, look at that! What? Still seeing things. I'm sure I saw something move. Something's been following me for days. Whatever you are, show yourself! Oh. Oh. Don't be frightened, small thing. Come here. We won't harm you. Where's your mother? Uh, I don't know. There was a big storm. Thunder and lightning. One moment she seemed to be there, then she was gone. I'm frightened. Don't be. We'll look after you. Looks like we've got ourselves an orphan, Boom Boom. Looks like it. And a scared, tired and hungry one at that. Come along. We'll find you something to eat. Thank you. By the way, I'm Boom Boom. And I'm Thara. Thara! Help! Help! Thara, help! And that, believe it or not, was Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> so Arrow still has not got a herd. And Thara's has gained a new member. And so begin more adventures than the young foal could imagine possible.